subscribe to my channel now remember to subscribe to my channel see you So here is the YouTube channel of Luca Lampariello. I just want to say first uh, thank you to my subscribers and my viewers, but especially thank you to my subscribers for subscribing to my channel and supporting me and believing in me that I'm going to hunt down all those polyglot scammers. But let's see if Luca Lampariello is real or fake. Let's find out in this video if he is a real polyglot or fake. Also, let's find out if he's really from Italy or what I think. Let's find out. It's just bullshit. And here there's some live stream, but they're speaking many language together. And it looks like they're looking and reading from. Let's see how many videos here. I'll just show a few more videos. We're almost at the end here. We're almost at the end. I'll not show all those videos, just a few more stuff like that. I'll show maybe a little from this learn life and maintain a lot of language, but I think it's also fake. I think it, I'm not sure it says live, but I'm not sure if it's really a live stream or if it's recorded. Maybe it's recorded uh, Skype call or video call, but I'm not sure. Let's see. it says it says learn life and maintain a lot of language interview with polyglot stefano in eight language but it says learn life but it's not life this is not a live stream because there's no live button no live chat there's no live chat live button so it's not a live stream okay it's not learn li life and maintain it's not learn life and maintain i just read it wrong it's learn live and maintain learn live and maintain live like living learn live and maintain it's just that i read it wrong so it's learn live and maintain it's just a recorded video recorded video means that they can edit recorded video means that they can edit and they can keep making many videos before they upload it they can try many times and keep editing and try again so they can just fake it but some of the language they will speak for 7 minutes or almost 20 minutes like that or 10 minutes but I think they're also looking at some text because I watch a little bit of this and it looks like they're also reading from some text from some paper let's watch just a few minutes not all the live stream is very long just a few minutes super excited today because I have I mean, I mean the video, not the live stream. It's not live stream. This one is not live stream. Just a normal video, but let's just watch a few minutes. I will not watch it all, just a few minutes. Such a cool multilingual video in a long time. I have a very special guest today. For example, or, mm -hmm. and also to donate something to my partner uh, exchange or conversation. So I would say, Look, the guy on the right side, this guy, Stefano or Polyglot, look where his eyes is looking. Look, his eyes is looking to the side and before it looks like he was looking behind the computer or behind the screen. All the time they're looking to the side or they're looking behind the screen or looking on the table or something like they're looking at some script. In uh, conclusion, for me, it faut commencer dès le début, oui, à produire la langue parce que la, une langue c'est production orale euh, sur, surtout production orale pour moi mais en parlant avec euh, moi-même hein, en parlant avec vous-même euh, excellent excellent et, et, euh... et sinon euh, le fait de parler avec d'autres personnes pour moi c'est en fonction de, de la distance entre les langues ça peut durer euh... excellent
Et, et, euh... et sinon, euh, le fait de parler avec d'autres personnes, pour moi, c'est en fonction de, de la distance entre les langues. Ça peut durer jusqu'à trois mois, même quatre. Est-ce que tu peux te dire... Euh, euh, He keep looking to the side to read and also around six minutes and 14 or six minutes something he was also looking to the side i will try to pause again this guy on the right side this guy on the right side was speaking now he was looking he's looking at the side you can see this stefano on the right side he keep looking to the right side there he's reading from some text il faut commencer dès le début oui à produire la langue, parce qu'une la, langue c'est production orale, euh, sur, surtout production orale pour moi, mais en parlant avec euh, moi-même, hein, en parlant avec vous-même. Euh, Excellent. Excellent. Et, et, euh... et sinon, euh, le fait... surtout production orale pour moi, mais en parlant avec moi-même, hein, en parlant avec vous-même. Euh... Excellent. Excellent. Et, 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 euh... et si... Non, euh... It looks like he's looking again to the right side, and then he also is speaking very slow. En parlant avec moi-même, uh, he cannot speak French, just pretending only they pretend to speak the language even they cannot speak the language le fait de parler avec d'autres personnes pour moi c'est en fonction de, de la distance entre les langues ça peut durer jusqu'à trois mois même quatre est ce que tu peux donner un exemple concret de ce qui s'est passé avec une, une langue spécifique qui t'a pris beaucoup de temps une langue qui t'a pris pas trop de temps parce que But Luca, we cannot see Luca so good because there's some sun, there's some sunlight, there's some sunlight on his face. But it looks like he is looking down, it looks like he's looking down sometimes or looking to the side to read the text. Even their video call here is fake and they keep looking at some text on the side or on the table like that or behind the screen. Relativement facile. Bah... Je dirais avec, euh, avec le français. <rire> le français, c'est une langue en fait que j'ai apprise. This guy, some, this guy Stefano, this guy Stefano on the right side. Sometimes he looked to the right side, sometimes he looked to the left side. And sometimes it looks like he's looking behind, behind the screen. All the time they're looking to the side or looking down or looking behind the screen. There's some paper or some computer they keep looking and reading the text they're very fake sans l'étudier sans jamais l'étudier et donc c'est le l'épitome de, de la langue que j'ai apprise sans look this, the camera the camera is in front of him the camera is in front of him but he keep looking to the side this guy on the right side stefano the camera is in front of him and he keep looking to the side he just looking and reading the text Just looking and reading the text. All the videos are fake like this. All the videos fake. They're just looking and reading from some text. Uh, sans, sans attendre euh, euh, longtemps avant d'avoir euh, mes premières euh, conversations ici à Bruxelles. J'habite à Bruxelles, donc c'est une euh, c'est une ville francophone, et c'est sure. ici dans la rue que j'ai euh, que j'ai pratiquement appris appris le français. Euh, par contre, euh, comme je disais, le georgien, euh, c'est une langue tellement différente et tellement compliquée que euh, je voulais être sûr d'être capable au moins de comprendre les corrections et, et les pourquoi euh, des corrections euh, avant de... Pris, pris le français. Euh, 
par contre... Oui. Et c'est oui, ici, dans la rue, que j'ai euh, pratiqué. Ils m'ont appris, appris le français. Euh. Look, sometimes this guy on the right side, this guy on the right side, Stefano, sometimes he looked to the left side to read from some text or computer screen there. And sometimes he looked to the right side. They keep looking and reading some text on the right side or on the left side or behind the screen or on the table. It's very fake. All the time they keep looking to the side and reading from some text. They have some text behind the screen or on the right side, left side, on the table. All their videos like this, all the polyglot YouTubers doing this kind of fake bullshit. Comme je disais, le Georgien, c'est une langue tellement différente et tellement compliquée que... Euh, je voulais être sûr d'être capable au moins de comprendre les corrections et, et les pourquoi euh, des corrections euh, avant de, de, me mettre, de me mettre dans une, dans une conversation. Sinon, ouais. ça n'aurait pas eu tellement de, de sens. Euh, de juste dire euh, bonjour et merci. Ça. Tout, à, tout à fait. En fait, je pense que les langues, comme euh, ça dépend. Euh, moi, en général, je pense qu'il y a une... Euh, une variété de positions et d'opinions différentes sur euh, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire, est-ce qu'il faut parler tout de suite, est-ce qu'il faut attendre. Moi, je pense que à la base, ça dépend. Si on observe des, euh, des enfants, on pourrait euh, tirer la conclusion qu'il faut attendre 2, 3, 4, 5 ans, mais on n'est pas des enfants. On a déjà une langue et on pourrait commencer à la parler euh, dès le début. Euh, moi, je, je pense en général, ça dépend. Les, les Allemands ont... Euh, la langue non, non, non vive en un voto, comme dit en anglais. But it's difficult to see Luca Lampriello. It's very difficult to see Luca Lampriello because it's the lighting is very bad. The lighting is very bad, but I know that he's also fake. I already show many videos that he's fake. Ma è una entità viva. ci sono c'è un si potrebbe usare una parolaccia, ma diciamo che vado un po' a feeling. Anzi che ecco. Eh vi comte clair Look where Luca is looking now. Look where Luca is looking now. He's looking to the side, looking down. Luca now speaking German, looking to the side, looking down, reading the text. He's just looking down and reading the text. Luca Lampariello. They're all fake. It's all fake. I'm not going to show you one more than one hour. I already show you a lot of videos here. Let's see this one. You do not speak 14 language. How to tackle criticism. This is Luca from LucaLampera.com you, you do not speak 14 language, how to tackle criticism, trolls and what not in language learning. It's not trolls, they're not trolls, it's you who are troll and scammer. It's you polyglot YouTubers who are trolls and scammers and liars. You are all fake liars. There's some Lindy's video with Valeria. I want to see this video, maybe, I'm not sure if now or some other time. Just take a look fast. Hi, Valeria. It's super nice to meet you in front. In uh, jealousy in a currency. I'm going to see here what is this about. Is it ever okay to be jealous of someone's language skill? Jealous of what language skill, you fucking scammers? see this bullshit what is this valeria and i discuss things these things in the today's video blah 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 mm, let's see blah 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 you don't see the hard work or work of others i have seen your hard work you are work working very hard i will tell the truth i will tell the truth i will be honest I'll be very honest, all polyglot YouTubers are work, working very hard. You are working very, very hard to write down some sentence in a language 
and practice the pronunciation and the accent for many hours and many days. It's very hard work. And then you practice how to memorize all those 10 sentences or 20 sentences in the language. You practice for many hours and many days how to pronounce some words or how to memorize some sentence. It's very hard work. And I can see your hard work. You're doing very hard work to practice pronunciation and practice accent and memorize some sentence and then make some fake videos pretending to speak this language and a lot of editing. You're doing very, very hard work to scam and fool people. You're doing very hard work to be shit people and scammers. You are doing very hard work to be fucking shithole scammers. This is Luca from LucaLampera.com and today I wanted to talk about how to deal with criticism when you speak a foreign language. Now, this is the video I showed you before where there's the comment of Lindy shithole here, this Lindy shithole and all the polyglot shit liars just bullshit bullshit scammers pretending to know many language and you Benny Lewis I am very sure that you also a liar and scammer just wait and see soon I will make video about you Benny Lewis shithole hunt season has begun hunting season has begun and I'm going to hunt you down polyglot youtubers I'm going to hunt you, all of you polyglot YouTubers, one by one. I'm going to make videos about all those polyglot scammers on YouTube. Watch my YouTube channel and my polyglot playlist. Watch my polyglot playlist. I'm going to hunt down and expose all of these polyglot scammers. All of them are fake and liars. Most of them can only speak one language, maybe two language. You are all fake scammers. Subscribe to my channel now. Soon I'll make video of you, Lewis, Benny Lewis, shithole, I'll make video of you also soon. You write here that people have some negative in their life and blah 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 like that and you want to make it look like people or people on Reddit and, and things like that, that they're the one who are bad or, or they're just jealous of you or blah 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 like that. They're jealous of you being scammers and liars? I don't think so. They're not jealous of you being liars and scammers. You are fake liars and scammers. Just wait till I make videos about all of you fucking scammers. All of you fucking shitholes. I will make videos showing what kind of shit you are. Just wait and see. I will show all of you shithole in my videos. And show what kind of shit scammers you are. Whoever decide to make a YouTube video or a couple of YouTube videos or a YouTube channel, brace yourselves, guys, because you're in for a treat. You're gonna get a lot of praise, you're gonna get a lot of admiration, you're gonna get a lot of positive comments, but you're also going to get a lot of flack for making a YouTube videos or for becoming a public figure, for getting yourself out there. And this is perfectly public figure or public scammer public figure or public scammer public scammer shit hole public shit public shit scammers now what i'm going to talk about is your, the general criticism that you get when you speak a foreign language because let's face it when it comes to speaking a foreign language you have to expose yourself you have to get up there and make it happen and, and when speaking a foreign language, you have to write down a few sentences in a language, practice the pronunciation, memorize the sentence, make a YouTube video editing and pretending to speak a language that you can't speak, pretending that you can speak 14 languages that you cannot speak. Soon you will make it 15, 16 or 20 language or 30 language or 50 language, pretending that you can speak some language that you cannot speak. We're just big scammers. 
and you make money you make money scamming people you make money scamming people because you're big scammers you have no self-respect or respect to other people you have no shame in life you don't care that you are fooling people and making money lying to people you are all shit people that don't know what it means to be a good and honest person you don't know what it means to be a good and honest person you are just all of you are shit people all of you polyglot youtubers are shit to get some flack or some negative comments i'm going to touch upon three main points uh, here that i think are important and three kinds of uh, ways to deal with criticism the very first thing and the very first point i wanted to touch upon is the fact that when you whenever you get some sort of criticism do not focus too much on the content of the criticism itself or the nasty comments or the, the nasty criticism in general but focus on the why the person This is not my bag. This is not my bag. Follow well, the itinerary, buy the bag, and the adventure. adventure. Gave you that critical comment. And I recently stumbled upon a very... But the voice is very low. The voice is very low. I will try to make it a little louder when I edit the video. Maybe I'll try to make the voice a little louder, but the voice is very, very low. It's not clear. You can hear him, but it's very low voice. Yo that Lindy Bodis made with another female polyglot. Lindy Bodis, by the way, is, she's a fantastic polyglot and I'll put a link in the description box. You he say, he say that Lindy Bodis is a fantastic polyglot. He say Lindy Bodis is a fantastic polyglot. He make a lot of videos with Lindy Bodis. He's friends with Lindy Bodis. He always, he always defending Lindy Bodis. He defend Lindy Bodis and say she's a real polyglot, even that she is fake and scammer and can only speak English in Lindy Boats can only speak English then he will defend her because he is also fake and liar and scammer that's why he will defend the other polyglot youtubers because he's also fake and liar and scammer and I think he can only speak English I think he's also from USA I think that's why he know Lindy Boats and Ikena and the other polyglot because they're all living in USA. I think they're all living in USA or from USA. That's why they know each other. Even if some of them are from other countries, but still they're working together. They're just big scammers, all of them. And I think he can only speak English. I think he's from USA and can only speak English. All the other language, he cannot speak them. But I think he's from USA and can only speak English. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm very sure that he is only that he can only speak English. That's what I'm thinking. He's just some fake scammer, same like all of the other polyglot scammers. Proud if you don't know her. And what struck me is that this girl told Lindy, Lindy, you're wonderful, and I really like what you do now. But the very first time that I watched your videos, I hated you, and I hated you because you were so good and you were better than me. Something along those. Lines. Lindy was so good. Lindy was so good. She's not good in language. Lindy is not good in language. Lindy is good in lying and fooling and scamming people. Lindy is good in lying and fooling and scamming people. She can only speak English. Watch my videos of Lindy Boats. Watch my videos of Lindy Boats. She can only speak English. She is fake scammer. That struck me because First, it was very honest, and second, it is the so-called elephant in the room. This kind of envy that we all feel towards other people, other people's abilities, especially within the language learning world, and nobody talks about. You can see it indirectly in the negativity and the nastiness of YouTube comments, but the reality is that this is present. This is part of the human nature. And this is when, when I... When I watched that, when I saw this girl telling Lindy Bodis what she honestly thought, that struck a chord with me because, let's face it, everybody, myself included, have felt some sort of envy. When you observe someone else's skills, language skills, and you've been struggling. Don't worry about me. Don't worry. I don't feel envy. Don't worry about me. About me? Don't worry. I don't feel envy about you or the other fake polyglot YouTubers. I don't wor worry. I don't, I don't, I don't feel envy about Lindy Boats who can only speak English one language, 
or only Richard or Richard Simcott or you all of you can only speak one language or two language I don't envy you when I can speak three language fluently and I can speak a little French and I know few stuff from other language also but I'm fluent I am fluent in three language I know a little from language number four three language fluently three language fluently and a little bit of number four is better than you and Lindy Boats and all the other polyglot who can only speak one language some of you maybe can speak two language but most of you can only speak one language but pretending that you can speak 20 or 50 language don't worry I will not envy you I will not envy someone who can only speak one language why should I envy someone who can only speak one language when I'm fluent in three language that's like a big joke language and that person speaks it effortlessly and you want to strangle them or I don't know it, it doesn't necessarily have to be about language learning it's you're working it's August it's scorching and then you see you scroll your uh, Facebook or Instagram feed and then you see your friend with a beautiful girl on a beach uh, at, at some tropical island and then you felt if you feel envy uh, for them. That's totally normal. So the very first point is whenever you get a negative comment, focus on the reason why they left a the comment. Most of the time, it's about them. It's not about you. So don't take it personal. It's not about them. It's not about them. It's about you. It's about you because they can see you are fake and liars and scammers. It's about you because they can see you are fake and liar and scammers. If some people say you are fake, you cannot speak 14 language, you are liar or scammer, you cannot speak 14 language, then it's not about them, it's about you. It's about you that you cannot speak 14 language, but you don't want to admit, you will never admit, you will never admit the truth because you are a liar and you are making money from this. You are making money from lying to people and you have no problem doing that, you have no problem making money lying to people. That's why you will just blame everyone who don't believe you. You will blame everyone who don't believe you because you want to continue this lie. You want to continue this lie so you can keep living your life, making money, scamming people. You want to continue your life, making money, scamming people. That's why everyone who don't believe you, you will blame them. You will blame the people who don't believe you because you want to continue being a liar and scammer, making money, lying and scamming people. These people are driven by negative emotions and you understand that by looking at yourself and saying, okay, I feel that or I have felt too, that too. Second, gen hate generates hate. That is negativity generates negativity. You might have observed that. I'm pretty sure if, if you are on YouTube often that in the comment session, when someone leaves a nasty comment, you have a deluge of answers. There's always back and forth, you suck, no you suck, and people start insulting each other. And up to a certain point, it's entertaining, but then you realize that you've spent a lot of time looking at this back and forth and you wasted 30, 40, 50, or even 60 minutes of your life, sometimes even more. And then you tell yourself, okay, I, you should tell yourself, I should have done something more productive. And if you do that on a single day, every single day, then that accumulates. And imagine the amount of time that you spend doing this instead of doing something more productive. So my piece of advice. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I will do something productive. I will do something very, very productive. I will, should, I, I will do I will do something very, very productive and show everyone how fake and liar all of you polyglot YouTubers are. I will do something very productive and show everyone what kind of liars and scammers and fake you polyglot YouTubers are. I will do something productive and show what kind of liars and scammers you polyglot YouTubers are. Don't worry. Ha 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 ha. I will show all of you scammers, don't worry. Whenever you get a negative comment, I know, I know that it's difficult or you get a criticism, not just a comment on YouTube videos, but also in real life. Don't dwell too much on it. And because then if you think about it, 
you're, you're trying to reply, oh, um, I should have told this person this when they told me directly, or I should have reacted this way, or if they left a comment uh, on your comment on, on your video on YouTube, but then you want to reply, it's a waste of time. Block it there. You have to break the... Don't worry. It will be a waste of time to make a comment on your videos because you will never admit that you are a scammer and liar it will be a waste of time to comment your video because you will never admit that you're a scammer and liar because you make money scamming and lying people then you will never admit that so it will be a waste of time to comment your video so i will just show everyone what kind of fake liar and scammer you are i will not waste my time to comment i'll just show it here in my video so everyone can see what a fake liar and scammer you all are. Before uh, you get sucked into uh, the rabbit hole, you cannot control what people think or say about you, but you can control what you think about yourself, what you feel and take over your life, take control of your life because you can control what you think and feel about yourself. You can control what you think and feel about yourself. So what do you think and feel about lying and fooling and scamming people and making money, pretending to speak many languages? How do you feel being a liar and scammer who make money lying and scamming people? What do you think and feel about that? What do you think and feel about being a liar and scammer? Luca Lampariello and all polyglot YouTubers, what do you think about being a liar and scammer? What do you think about it? Basic guys, life is short and we don't have much time on this planet. The third point I wanted to make is that it all depends on how you react and whenever you get a negative comment, transform it into positive energy and transform it into one concrete action to be the better version of yourself. Let me give you an example. Recently, try to transform my videos about you to something positive if you can. <laughs> try to trans form my videos about you to something positive if you can ha 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 let everyone see and watch how fake you are let everyone watch how fake you are and what kind of shit scammer you are a, a video in greek speaking greek and i got a lot of praise and people were happy but i you know needless to say i got also some flack or some uh video speaking in greek you mean the edited the fake edited video speaking in greek the fake edited video speaking in greek all your fake bullshit videos some were very helpful and i got a lot of helpful comments for example by one person in particular who detailed all my uh, pronunciation mistakes or my uh, phonetic patterns that i was not getting right and i'm very grateful for that but there was another person who left somewhat a nasty comment i know because uh, i know this person uh, i've i've seen this person and i know why they left this comment so i understood the why uh, but that person said that Again, uh, my, some, some words I pronounced uh, wrong. I pronounced some words in the wrong way, uh, the wrong patterns. I had absorbed the wrong patterns, some wrong patterns in, in Greek. And I said, well, he's right. He's actually got a point. So what I did is instead of dwelling on, oh, this guy left a nasty comment and this and that, I could not care less. I focused on the positive aspect of receiving such a comment and focusing on how can I make these patterns right? And it's not about how to prove this person right, uh, how to prove this person wrong. It's about how to prove myself right. So whenever you leave If you watch this video Then you will notice that I think it's not edited. This video is not edited And he's speaking in English and his live stream his live stream is speaking in English also when he speak I think you have some live stream with uh, Lindy Boat speaking in English he can only speak English for longer time without editing and his American accent is same like an American and then maybe some people will say that in the start of his videos his English was not so good but he could just fake those videos like in the start of his channel 13 years ago he can just 
make make some videos like when he makes some videos 13 years ago the first few videos in his channel where he's speaking english he can just pretend he can pretend that his english pronunciation is not so good so people will think that he's from italy he can make some fake videos pretending that he is not so good in english in the start of his channel so people will think that he's from italy but i think he's from usa i think he's from usa and pretending to be from italy you get a comment that is somewhat negative transform it into a positive action that's what i did i took for example i started uh, contacting this other person who left me a detailed analysis of my uh, phonetic patterns in Greek and we started working together and also started working together working on my pronunciation trying to get it uh, right in this regard two quotes come to mind one is from uh, Eleanor Roosevelt whom I greatly admire is that nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent and the second one is 10% is what happens to your life 90% is how you react to it. So think about it, and every time that you receive a negative comment, be it on YouTube or someone reply to you on, on the comment session or in real life, a tutor, a friend, um, a complete stranger criticized your language patterns for whatever reason, focus on why did, it happen, did that happen and try to find a solution. Like invest your time not on the negative uh, you know, aspect of it, but on the positive accident what can I learn from that so uh, thank you for uh, watching if you also like this vlog like style I'll make more uh, of blah 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 you cannot speak 14 language and I have showed that in my videos that you're just fake you're fake and I've showed that in my videos I think I'll not show more videos there's just one or two videos here i want to show something like that this one fake versus versus real polyglot i'm not sure maybe i'll show this one you are fake polyglot don't worry you are fake polyglot don't worry recently i made a video about uh, criticism of language learning about the fact that a lot of people content creators or normal youtubers or people who expose themselves speaking showcases their language skills get a lot of flack or criticism or negative criticisms and address the problem of how to fundamentally face it but the interesting fact about that video is that quite a few comments pointed to the fact that um, a lot of hatred or a lot of misunderstandings come from the fact that there are some so-called pseudo polyglots who demand that they speak many more languages than they actually can, or they just demand that they speak the languages when in fact they um, mutter a couple of sentences and they have a very uh, superficial smattering of the languages that they claim to speak. Same like you, same like you, just pretending to speak the language. You will just make some of your videos will be like five minutes or seven minutes or 10 or 12 minutes or something or even 20 minutes but you're just reading from some paper and also editing and just very fake you are fake polyglot you are also fake scammer if people watch the videos i upload of you if people watching the videos i upload of you they will see how fake and liar and scammer you are uh, before we delve into uh, the fake versus real uh, polyglot controversy, uh, let me address the problem of what it constitutes, what it means to be a polyglot. Now, the word polyglot, the word speak, a the, the, the concept of speaking a language or a fluency are kind of vague and up to discussion. I already talked about it in numerous videos. If you want to check the last video I made about fluency, please uh, check and, on, and click on the link in the description box. But in general, I would say that we need a starting, we need a point of reference. And again, this is my humble opinion, and this is um, what I think constitutes a polyglot. To me, a polyglot, meaning from the Greek word um, polyglosis, glossa, glosis, many languages. For me, a polyglot is a person who speaks at least three foreign languages other than their own. And when it comes to speaking, I mean speaking fluently. And again, for me, fluency means at least a B2 level, being able to understand, being able to function in a society, understand what is being said uh, to them. You cannot speak those language 
at a high level or fluently you cannot speak this language fluently you cannot function in a society with this language how will you function in the society if you are going to spain or germany or russia and you're going to speak to someone on the street and you'll tell them oh wait wait i want to go home and i want to go home and and write down something on a paper in russian and come back and tell you what i want to say if you go to russia you cannot speak russian or germany you cannot speak german you cannot speak this language if you meet someone on the street and in those countries you will tell them wait i i need to write down first few sentences in your language to read those few sentences same like you do in your videos same like you do in your videos you're just reading some sentence from some paper you cannot function in any country only in usa or english speaking country or in so or you can use english in other country but you can only speak english or fake and you can only speak english same like lindy boats and many other polyglot youtubers you can only speak english fluently the only language you can speak fluently is english you are fake polyglot And it says here, it says here, fake versus real polyglots, here is the truth. Fake versus real polyglot, here is the truth. What truth? You don't know what is, you don't know to say the truth. You don't know how to say the truth because you're a liar. You're a liar and you're making money lying to people. You're making money lying to people and scamming people. You are scammer, scammer across in a smooth way um, albeit um, you know with uh, mistakes so with that point of reference how do you judge a polyglot well even if we have this point of reference it's kind of difficult to judge to really being able to gauge a polyglot scale unless you're a polyglot unless you speak those languages and it's difficult in general because mm, we have for example the CEFR uh, framework of reference, European framework of reference for uh, language acquisition and skills that detail the various skills that you have to uh, have in order to pass certain exams ranging from A1 size and blame and negativity brings more negati negativity. Would an educated or wise person really okay just reading reading and saying a lot of bullshit just reading and saying a lot of bullshit you're full of bullshit you're a scammer and liar you are full of bullshit you are just some big scammer lying and fooling people you are fake polyglot you are fake fake polyglot let's see i'll just show one more thing here there's some one there's some video about in about danish language there's some video about danish language i want to show this about danish language there's also this one with lindy boats i think i showed this one before and then this and about lindy boats i'm not sure let's see here how to learn language in record time and not get confused blah 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 all the time it's time the same bullshit and his live stream i'm sure his live stream is in english should we test his live stream if we speak in what language doritos make your play <laughs> Okay, here it says that is he is in Rome. It says stream streamed seven months ago in Rome, but I'm I don't think he can speak Italian at least not fluently. Maybe he go to Italy on vacation, or maybe he lived there or something. Maybe he's American who moved to Italy or something. I don't know, or maybe somehow he know how to make the location in Italy. Maybe use some VPN, maybe use some VPN and make the location in Italy or something like that. I don't know. Maybe he makes some VPN that he looks like he's in Italy or maybe he go there for vacation or or maybe he live there now, but I think he is American. 
but let's see what language he will speak i think he will only speak english and if he speak other language then maybe only for a few minutes let's see if this works hi guys i don't know if you can see it you can see me i think it's there and then there are too many and we end up we end up not doing much when any okay you are you say you're from italy you say you're from italy and this live stream is from rome you say you're in italy and can speak italian and the live stream is from rome but you're speaking in english you're speaking in english but you say you're from italy and you are in rome here so why you don't speak in italian on your live stream we have so he will to 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 answer your question um if you look for um if you if you click on the link uh, if you go directly to lookonopedal.com, uh, you will see that there is a resource section. You can click, you're going to um, wake up a little bit earlier to squeeze the tutor or attend them, a friend, and someone you whom you trust and you like. So, um, thoughts on uh, real zero five, thoughts on what you think it's going to take forever and how do you overcome that? The, uh, the thing I always say, guys, is this do not, do not focus on the i love languages so much but then i just learning in a natural way you know peace on our blog i don't know me they know my passion so they 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 react well and the, the thing that makes me proud is that when people live together with me um in the apartment what is the best way to learn a foreign language Okay, I think the whole live stream is in English, maybe. So, he is from USA, he cannot, he can only speak English. He can only speak English, he's from USA, and all the language he make before that he speak is just reading from some script, from some paper. He's from USA, he can only speak English. Why you don't make live stream in Italian? Why don't make long live stream in Italian? Because you are from USA and you speak English. Does it? But again, if you want to memorize kanjis, that's. Let's see if we're live. We should be live. To me, uh, Sara or Sarita, I would uh, the, the advice would be my piece of advice is to uh, find a tutor and just connect with the tutor and build a relationship, a friendship with the tutor, and start speaking the language in a protected environment. Then slowly, you can um, uh, you know start interacting uh, more and more with people. This is quite important, and a lot of people have a hard time speaking a foreign language. A couple of years uh, ago, that was organized by my friend. This amazing feeling when you start. Speaking Gone to school in high school, you figured out that uh, most of the time uh, feelings and uh, intriguing. Um, it's an intriguing job. A real zero five. I don't know. Uh, how do you work on your accent? Possibly, if you're interested, uh, more live comment on that because I don't know the system. Currently, I don't speak. I don't speak uh, Arabic, uh, Michel. So I. I just rated as zero beginner. I think um, I don't. I don't speak a word of Arabic now that I think about it. Maybe I can see a couple, but very, very few. Giovanni uh, same like every language. Same like every language. You can only say a few words or a few sentences and just pretending that you can speak the language. And the whole live stream, you're speaking in English. The whole live stream, because you can only speak English. You can only speak English, that's why you're speaking the live stream in English. Recently, I read a very interesting speech by a Japanese linguist that talks about. Um, so, wow, your knowledge is really impressive. This is working properly. South to interesting content, and then I use them in uh, interesting. 14 languages and so I feel bad about it it's inevitable to uh, first to get rusty in some of the languages absolutely inevitable and the other important thing is that if you do not use a language it gets rusty 
but your listening comprehension does not get rusty. This is the interesting part. So if you reach a level where you understand a language really well, it doesn't degrade that much. You might not everyone. Every time you learn a new language, you have, uh, I think a Kevin can, can find it. Venture out into um, your comfort zone. And this environment, I have friends from all over the world, uh, either online and offline. And I tell uh, word order in Russian is not a problem. He is from USA. He's from USA. You can hear that he speak like someone from USA. Then some people will say, no, he's from Italy, but he learned American or learned English. And now he can speak like an American. It's just bullshit. He is from USA and all the other language are fake. He's from USA. All the other language are fake. He's only fluent in English and his live stream, the whole live stream is in English. All the other language are fake. Only he can speak English. You can move. Nope, I, I can't, I can't find. From the new one. So I'm broadcasting live and I'm broadcasting live. Or because I, I use it at home. Or... Hello from France. Hello from Rome. Um, so... Okay, I mean, thank you for your patience with the technical difficulty. And you see the other live stream. The other live stream, there was some, it says that he's in Rome in the other live stream. But here you cannot see that he is in Rome. He say, welcome from Rome, but there's no sign here that he is in Rome. Be behind, beside the stream, this stream three months ago, it doesn't say Rome. Maybe the one... The other one, when it says Rome, maybe he was just there for vacation or something like that. Maybe just go there on vacation, then he makes some live stream when he's there on vacation. So people think that he is from Italy. Even if he go to Rome, maybe he just go there for vacation or maybe he moved to Italy or something. But he's not from Italy. His live streams are in English. He can only speak English. All the other language are fake. But now when I was watching this again, I noticed something. I would show, I would show it a few times, nor, normal speed and also slow motion. I'll try to s show normal speed and slow motion something. I noticed when I was listening again, I noticed something. He said that he lives live in Italy. He said that he's from Italy and live in Italy. And he said the live stream is in Rome. Rome is in Italy. Rome is in Italy, but... If you listen good, if you listen good, he will say hello from France, hello from Rome. He will say hello from France, hello from Rome. He will say hello from France, hello from Rome. But Rome is in Italy, Rome is not in France. He will say hello from France, hello from Rome, but Rome is in Italy, it's not in France. Some person who is from Italy, if he's from Italy and always lived in Italy, then of course you know that Rome is in Italy and not in France. He will not make some mistake. If he's really from Italy and always lived in Italy, he will not make some mistake and say, hello from France, hello from Rome. He will know that he will not say France. He will say hello from Italy, hello from Rome. That's also something, it's not totally proof, but it's also something to show that he make mistake because he's not really from Italy and I don't think he's living in Italy. May, you never know if he go and live there now or if he go there on vacation. But I don't believe that he's living in Italy. I think he live in USA. Also his interview with New York Times. New York Times is in USA. He have interview with New York Times speaking 12th language and New York Times in, is in USA. And his friends was... Lindy Boats and Ikena and before also Lawushu and other polyglot who are living in USA because I think he's living in USA. I know he's from USA. I'm very, very sure he's from USA, but I also think he lives in USA. I also think he lives in USA. But you never know if he moved to Rome or maybe he just go there on vacation. Maybe have some apartment there, maybe have some apartment there, or maybe just go and stay there for, in hotel for vacation sometimes. Maybe he like to visit Rome sometime on vacation. But if you listen good, I will show it a few more times. I'll show this a few more times. He keeps saying, 
hello f- no he he said one time but i was short many times he should say hello from france hello f- from rome he would say hello from france hello from rome if he is from italy and living in rome in italy he will not say hello from Fr- france why he will say hello from france because it's all bullshit it's all bullshit he will tell you hello from france even he want to say that he is in rome he want to say he's in rome but he will say hello from france he will say hello from france hello from rome just listen now i'll show it few times also in slow motion just con- just concentrate now he will say hello from france hello from rome just concentrate he will say hello from france hello from rome <laughs> Hello from France, hello from Rome. Um, 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 did you hear that? Did you hear that? Hello from France, hello from Rome. Hello from France, hello from Rome. Ha 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 Hello from France, hello from Rome. Ha 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 I don't think you should compare yourself with YouTube channels. If I can find Chinese, learning a language is this good enough to write a book? You can do a marathon of four. All his live streams in English. All his live stream is in English. The live stream where he speak more than one hour. Three or four live streams speaking more than one hour is in English. Also, when he makes live, live stream or some video with Lindy Boats is in English. He can only speak English. That's the only language he can speak. All the other languages are fake. I just want to see this one about Danish. There's some video, something about Danish here. Um, that he wants to learn Danish. This one is just some bullshit. Learning language in 2021 updates. Here he also add Danish language. Let's see how much you will speak Danish. I already watched this video. Let's see. Thing I usually do, nor is it something for Danish. What I need it in my life or actually find most fascinating and most motivating as a language learner and as a person is connecting with people. If I could use a language to chat with someone, look them in the eye and laugh with them, then About this video, about this video, in this video, I will share with you what has happened with Greek, Hungarian, and Danish over the last year and a half. So you want to say that he has practiced Greek and Hungarian and Danish for one half year, but in the video he will only say few words in Danish. He will only say few words in Danish and wrong pronunciation. He will say few words in Danish and wrong pronunciation, and then he will say that he have been learning for one half year. Just because you say a few words, then you will say that you learned for one half year, you're just a liar. And if I cannot do this, or I'm not at a level where I can do this just yet, then I tend to struggle. It happened to me once before with Romanian, though I apparently did not learn my lesson the first time. For Danish, what I needed in my life were actual Danish people who I could talk to, who I could connect with. I did not have that for most of the year, so I had a difficult time and I did not make much progress. Today, I'm happy to say though that I have a lovely Danish tutor by the name of Adil that I really enjoy having conversations with. We meet once a week and our work together has really helped me start getting my Danish back on track. So, what's a lesson learned with Danish? If you're learning a language in order to do something specific with it, then don't forget to do that thing. My main goal for every language I learn is to connect with people. So when I forget to actually get out there and connect with native speakers, my motivation drops and the language learning process becomes more difficult. So if you want to speak, speak. If you want to read, read. Maybe not 
from the beginning, but do it as soon as you feel ready. It sounds obvious, but it's an easy detail to overlook. Okay, that covers all three languages I learned in 2020. But before I go, I want to share one last lesson. It's about learning three languages at the same time as I did last year. Now, this is not something I usually do, nor is it something I usually recommend. But for 2020, since I wanted to learn all three languages, out. Then, during the session, I record commit to consistently learning a language every single day, podcast and language tutoring habits 2016. So, for the thing is, though, that I do not know Hungarian that a week speaking to each of my two Hungarian tutors, Petra and a possible input. Earlier, I spoke about how I had the whole video, the whole video is speaking in English, telling us how he learned Greek and Hungarian and Danish in one half year. In the whole video, he will tell us that he learned Greek, Hungarian and Danish in one half year, but he don't show that he can speak the language. It's just very fake and I think he's going to speak few words in Danish, but I cannot remember what minute I see it here. I want to find the Danish part. Group of three or four Greek channels full of fascinating video content that I love to listen to. Well, I have to admit that I haven't found such channels for Hungarian just yet. Perhaps worse, I know of a few that could suit my interests in learning to grow my skills. I opted to learn. Okay, let's move on to my. Here he will speak Danish now. He will speak Danish, but he will just say a few words. It's just a big joke. He will speak Danish after a few seconds, but he will just say a few words and then he will say something in Danish that that Danish people say it's very difficult to say. So he just try to play smart. He tried to play smart to say something difficult in Danish, but it's only a few words and it's just memorized or practice. He just practice how to say it and still the pronunciation is wrong. Even he practice it, still the pronunciation is wrong, even if he try to make it sound good, but it's only a few words. It's only a few words. Only you say a few words in Danish, it doesn't mean that he can speak Danish or that he has been learning Danish for one half year. It's just fake bullshit. I sure that I still had some daily contact with Hungarian, and it also made sure that I did not give up. Okay, let's move on to my third language of 2020, which was Danish. Danish is a kind of the middle child of the group. It's not as new and exciting as Greek, nor do I have as much experience with it as I do with Hungarian. In fact, I've only been learning Danish for about a year and a half now. Before I tell you about my experience with Danish, let me give you a sample of how the language sounds. Jeg kan godt lide at tale dansk, men jeg taler stadig ikke flydende. Hold med fly. You say It's not It's I will read the text for you. I will read the text here for you. I will read the text. I will read the text and then listen when he speak. I will read this, this text and then listen to him after. I can got lie at tale dansk, men jeg taler stadig ikke flyende. Rød grød med fløde. Okay, one more time. Jeg kan godt lide at tale dansk, men jeg taler stadig ikke flyende, rød grød med fløde. Okay, one last time, I'll read this one text for you. Jeg kan godt lide at tale dansk, men jeg taler stadig ikke flyende, rød grød med fløde. Rød grød med fløde. This last one, the last one, rød grød med fløde. Rød grød med fløde. Then listen to him when he say it. He will not say it to totally correctly. Also, it's only one long sentence, just like one or two sentences, just few words. In fact, I've only been learning Danish for about a year and a half now. Before I tell you about my experience with Danish, let me give you a sample of how the language sounds. Jeg kan godt lide at tale dansk, men jeg taler stadig ikke flydende. Hold hold med fly. And look his face expression. 
look his face expression he make this face expression because he want to he want to make like shock like oh wow i can pronounce it good like oh wow i can pronounce pronounce it very good he want to say like oh wow i can pronounce this one you want to say oh i can pronounce good you want to impress people like you can pronounce it but only he say one or two sentence he say he have been learning for one half year if you have been learning for one half year you can only say one or two sentence in danish you have been learning danish for one half year then you can only say one or two sentence in danish that's he just want to show that he can pronounce the words just want to show you can pronounce the words then people will be impressed like oh you can pronounce the word good or blah 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 only he want to show he can pronounce the words but he only say one or two sentence saying one or two sentence in danish doesn't mean you can speak danish saying one or two sentence in danish doesn't mean you can speak danish doesn't mean that you have been learning for one half year it doesn't prove that you can speak Danish. It doesn't prove that you have been learning for one half year just because you say two sentences in Danish. Which was Danish. Danish is a kind of the middle child of the group. It's not as new and exciting as Greek, nor do I have as much experience with it as I do with Hungarian. In fact, I've only been learning Danish for about a year and a half now. Before I tell you about my experience with Danish, let me give you a sample of how the language sounds. Jeg kan godt lide at tale dansk, men jeg taler stadig ikke flydende. Hold hold med flyd. All bullshit like this. It's all bullshit. Just because you say one sentence or two sentences and say a few words doesn't mean you can speak the language does this mean you can speak the language because you say one or two sentence and try to pronounce one or two sentence correct then you can speak the language or you have been learning the language for one half year because he tried to pronounce it correctly or try to say one or two sentence one or two sentence mean he can speak the language what kind of joke is this i think i showed this one with lindy boats before i'll just see a few minutes maybe just i want to see if I have seen this one before, I think there's something also about. I think he's defending Lindy Boats. I think in this video, in this video, defend Lindy Boats because some people say that she's a fake polyglot or criticize her. I think some people criticize Lindy Boats, then he defend her in this video or defending polyglots in this video. I'm not sure, but let's just take a fast look. Watching her videos for two years, so I can't wait to talk to her. Okay, I'm not sure if this video, maybe the real video is on Lindy Boat's channel. I think there was some video, same like this, on Lindy Boat's channel. Then you could, she write down, she write down what minute. They're talking about different things. Because I think they were also talking something about if they're real or fake polyglot or if people believe them or not. Maybe this one here. How do you belong, how do you balance working full-time, studying, do you apply, blah, blah, look at. What are the mistakes to avoid? How do you handle learning? How can introverts practice language? How do you organize Luca? How do you move on to a new language? How was your first chat in a foreign language? Do you use teachers? Okay, so I think it's not this video. I think this is not the video that I'm talking about. But I think I have showed enough of this bullshit now of his channel. So what I think is that he is from USA and can only speak English. He's from USA and can only speak English. Also his video in all his videos in Italian is very fake. His Italian videos he keep looking and reading from some text. His Italian videos he keep looking and reading from some text. But if some people believe that he's from Italy, then still, even if he's from Italy, then he, then he can only speak Italian and English. Even if he's from Italy, then he can only speak Italian and English. But I think he's from USA and can only speak English. I think he's from USA and can only speak English. All the videos, all the language, all the other language, he just practice some sentence and 
and memorize some sentence and then he also reading from some text just reading from some text and pretending to speak all this language it's all fake 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 he's a fake polyglot and he can only speak English he's from USA and can only speak English he's from USA and can only speak English that's what I think I'm, I think he's from USA and can speak English that's what I'm thinking Fake polyglot scammer making money, scamming people, making money, lying and scamming people. You can only speak English, you are from USA. You are from USA and you can only speak English. That's only one language. You can only speak one language, that's English. Only you can speak one language fluently, that's English. And all the other language, you cannot speak them. If you can speak few language, then just some beginner stuff. If you can speak few language, just some beginner stuff and some memorized sentence. Memorized sentence and beginner stuff. But only fluent in English. Only fluent in English. Only live stream in English. Only live stream in English. Only fluent in English. You can only speak English. You are from USA. You are from USA. Your pronunciation, your accent, USA. And you make live stream in English. You are from USA. And you are friends with the other. American polyglots, you are American polyglot or not polyglot, you are fake polyglot, American fake polyglot scammer, you are from USA, you can only speak English, only one language, you are fake. This is the website of Luca Lampariello. Here it says my American accent since I started making videos on YouTube. One of the most common questions has been how did you learn to speak American English that way? Some people suggested that I must have an American mother or that I simply <coughs> lived in the US, where, US when I was a little kid. Flattered by these suggestions, I decided to share my story with you, hoping that I will inspire other language learners. I was born and raised in Rome, Italy, in a 100% monolingual household. <coughs> I, don't, I don't believe him. I think he is from USA and just lying to people. I think he's from USA and lying to people. Even when he speaks Italian, it's very fake and he's just reading from some paper. If you watch the videos, you can see when he speaks Italian, he's reading from some papers. It's just very fake. I think he's from USA and he can only speak English. He's only fluent in English. All the other languages are fake. He can only speak English. He's from USA. Same like Lindy Boats from USA. Can only speak English. He's just a big liar and scammer and making money, lying and scamming people. Mr. Big Scammer Luca Lampariello. I'm sure he's from USA and he can only speak English. I'm sure he's from USA and can only speak English. He's a big liar and pretend that he is from Italy. He pretend he's from Italy so people will think that he can speak Italian and English and then he will and then because he's from Italy people will think that he can also easily learn Portuguese and Spanish and it and French. People who think he can easily learn this Portuguese, Spanish and French because if he's from Italy then Portuguese and Spanish and French is near from Italian language. But I, I'm sure he's not from Italy. I don't believe that he's from Italy. I'm sure that he's from USA and pretending to be from Italy. He's just a big liar and scammer same like Lindy Boats and all the other fake polyglot scammers. Just a big, big liar and scammer making money lying and scamming people Subscribe to my channel now. Remember to subscribe to my channel. See you. اشترك في القناة دلوقتي. افتكر اشترك في القناة. اشوفك. السلامة.
Uskat abunia from Kamelo, Uskat abunia, we says Abonevu Amashen, Mantana, Abonevu, Abonevu Amashen.